Hey guys, Jeremy here from the Hockey Movement. Zach from Always Hockey. We're setting up a training area in Zach's basement and along the way we're reviewing a whole bunch of different training products from HockeyShot.com. So in this next set of videos we're going to do a review of the goal, we're going to do a review of the backstop and also the extreme shooter tutor. But in this video we're going to review the goal. Let's take a look, set it up. Are we going to show this thing though or? Yeah. Hold it up. I'm sliding. Is it recording? <laughs> Let's take a look at what we got. So Zach noticed that the mesh smells like deep fried. Uh, not too sure what that's all about, but now he's hungry. Uh, this is the mesh for the goal. Uh, what I really like is this nylon strip that's along the bottom. Usually where your net's most likely to rip is where it's connected to the post because that's where the tension is. So they've added this extra durability with this nylon strip. There's a lot of nets that don't have this and then your mesh is gonna rip a lot sooner so your net isn't as good. It's uh, not a problem for Zach though because apparently it only goes bar down. Something we did notice about the post though is that in some spots the paint has been chipped off. So that's probably an issue with the manufacturing. This is the first production that Hockey Shot has off the line. So that's something that they would probably look into and fix in future shipments. All right, time to put this net together. Hmm. Ready to set this thing up? If I could read the instructions. I think we've been around enough nets so we could figure this thing out. Yeah, might as well just wing it. so far. Like Zach's ankles, it's a little bit wobbly, but not too bad. Uh, that's to be expected from the ones where you clip them together. Now it's time to put the mesh on, which is a slow process. It can be a little tricky. I will show you how to do that in a separate video though. This is the part of the review where we rip shots of the net, see if we can break it. Oh, we're gonna try to break it? Wow, you gotta shoot hard so you test the durability. Bring your net though, Jeremy. Let's take a few hard shots. Yep. Wanna go crossbar? Yep. What the heck? <laughs> Jeremy, I was like a good four feet over the net. Not bad. Wow. <laughs> First round of shots, more like a warm up. We were putting some heat on him though. So we hit the back bar quite a bit. No visible dents or damage, just the uh, black puck marks, which every net should be speckled with. Uh, then we're gonna take a look at the crossbar here. Got one light hit there. Doesn't look like it's uh, dented. And then here, nice hard hit right off the top. And Zach couldn't even break the sticker. Come on, man, flex that thing. So now we'll just rip a whole bunch of shots, keep on shooting and shooting and shooting, and see what the overall result is. So we're going to take a look at what you might get from some of the other nets available. Now this is pretty normal for a lot of nets. You get flattening of the post and lots of dents. And this is bad, but it can get worse. Let's go outside and take a look at Zach's net. So Zach, what's the story on this net? You had it for like 10 years or what? Uh, I put it together at Christmas. I've been using it for a solid six months. What, Christmas of last year? Yeah. Okay, so six months of use. Yeah. Yeah. And this, six months of use. And this runs you maybe around $100 at your big box stores, but it... If you have a good shot, I'm not gonna last you that long, eh? Nope. No. <laughs> and look at that, look at the middle bar. <laughs> there is no middle bar. Just wrecked. It's gone. Yeah. So better if, if you have a player you're shopping for that has a pretty good shot, or if you have a good shot, better put in a little extra money and get a thicker gauge steel. 
Let's head back inside and take a look at the hockey shot net. We haven't put this net through the same amount of abuse, but in my opinion, it doesn't look like it's going to dent as much. These posts do look more durable than the other nets that I've used that are a similar price range. So I'll take a look at what we've done. These are with wrist shots, and these ones are wrist shots as well. So it might be hard to see on camera there, but there's a little bit of flattening going on. Uh, back post looks really sturdy. So we hit, hit these with some good clappers and wrist shots, and there's absolutely no dents at all. Just puck marks. Look at that transfer, you can see the O in official. Top bar also looks really sturdy. Don't see any dents, just lots of rubber transfer. Over here I was letting some slappers go. It looks like we do have a little bit of a dent there, but nothing huge. Now that would build over time if you keep on taking slap shot after slap shot after slap shot. Uh, but in my opinion, these posts do seem more durable than the other nets that I've used. All right, so that wraps up the review of the Hockey Shot Extreme Goal. Uh, looks a little bit more durable than the other nets out there. It's a little bit more expensive, but it's worth it in the long run. Uh, so if you want to pick one up, it's $129.95 on HockeyShot.ca. A little bit cheaper if you go on HockeyShot.com. Also, we got a coupon code. We'll toss it there in the video description. Help you guys save a little bit of money. It'll save you $10. If you want to see how the net holds up in the long run, Zach's going to be using it on a regular basis. He's got a bunch of different accounts uh, where you can see him do some pretty sweet tricks. Where can they find you? If you want to go to my YouTube channel, click on that link below in the description. If you want to follow me on Instagram at always.hockey and on Twitter and Facebook, always.hockey. That's it for this video. We will be doing a review of the backstop, so check that out. And we're also going to throw a shooter tutor in here. Test that thing out. See you in the next video.